All right, Dave, so here, here's the last swing you just took, last swing we recorded just a moment ago on our left, the new blue. Hugely different look with your hands and arms through impact than what we saw starting out today on our right as the old gold. Mm -hmm. On the left, his arms are extended so much better and his hands have turned over so much better than what we're seeing on the right on the old gold over there. See that right arm nice and long, it got used, mm -hmm. hands have turned over so much better. And starting out today again from down the line, I still don't like that setup as much as what this setup looked like back in November last time we got it on the video because it impacts you on the left. Mm -hmm. Back in November you're closer to being in your same posture you were at address. But more important than the tallness of your setup I'm saying today is this is a little open starting out today. Mm -hmm. And that's understandable based on the bad ball fight out west a couple weeks ago. But again, this is the better stuff. Actually, no, that was starting out today still on our mm -hmm. right. Yeah, where that glove, those arms were not as ex quite as extended as what's good. Yeah, and that club head you see is right on that yellow line, that arc. But then once you get those arms extending better and better, club head, that's the same one there, that's the same swing. So now, if you get that club head extending better, or those arms extending better, that club head now is actually showing up underneath that arc right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of that better extension. Beautifully better extension than what we saw starting out today at that point in the follow through. His hands have turned over and that glove is better for you. Right there. See yeah. that right hand's covered up, that black glove on the new blue on our left. Right. Whereas on the old gold on our right, you still see that white glove there. Right. And his arms are so much more extended. Right there. Much better look. And again, at full speed, you can even see it now. Again, where those arms kind of flinching away from the ball through there, kind of afraid of it. Mm -hmm. For sure, you're just going right down after it at full speed. More on your left foot. Right there. And then from over here, just had that toe pointed in more than what you did starting out today. Mm -hmm. So this foot, left foot looks thinner, see where it looks wider over here, so the point, toe is pointed out more on the old gold on our right, mm -hmm. and there's the hybrid. You see, and it's a little more underneath that arc, because mm -hmm. it's under extended better in that right hand turn over the left. All right. Yes, sir. I like that a lot, man. Just to, and again to give you some good, more pictures in your mind here. I mean, this is what we'd see, right at that point for all the all the tour players. That kind of extension, that kind of hiding of the left hand mm -hmm. through impact. Doesn't matter who we look at. That kind of look right there. And they're hitting the ball, really going after it. Their head stays at the same place, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. That kind of look there with that extension. It does not matter who we look at. Think down here. Got gloves underneath the right hand. Mm -hmm. Fuzzy there, but you get the idea. Mm -hmm. When it's in motion, you can see a little better there. It's a little different angle. So you can see that glove hand mm -hmm. with that kind of extension. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. Good, good work there, man. So let's stop there for the day. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down-the-line camera angle for our 2D equipment. 
And then we have a face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 20th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, when I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from cutterzedge.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in the golf room that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. Then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied that things are looking better on the video here and we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want. And we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here. And then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter. And then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Metal Links, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.